This is mind-blowing, God's sovereignty over letters and terms. Look at this. So in Egret is this famous guy right here, this beautiful white bird right here. Massive fives. Man, he's even shaped like a five. <laughs> the guy is even shaped like a number five. Is it just me or is his face a five? Huh? 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 I, I kid you not. I, I see that. This is the sovereignty of God. Look at the egret. Now, if he's turned the right way, if he's turned towards the right like he is here, the shape of his body actually is a number five, a white number five. Look at it with me. It's very obvious. Five. Dent. Dent. There he is, Mr. Five himself. He's literally a walking five. But look at his name. His name is like composed of pure fives. Remember, five is the number of joy. Okay. Look, he starts with the E. GR is 25. E is another five. T is 40. Egret equals 55. And like I said, when he's turned towards the right, he's actually shaped perfectly like a five. Dent, dent, dent. Now, this gets even cooler, because five is the number of joy. This gets even cooler, because there's another word right here, an egret, which also divides by five. In fact, it takes the letters of egret and just adds an ai, 10 points, and a t, 20 points, to make 85 perfectly. What is an egret? Well, according to Google, it is a headdress consisting of a white egret's feather or other decorations such as a spray of gems. Okay? So, but... Uh, according to my theory at this point, five is the number of joy, okay? It's easy to see the joy of God in this beautiful looking white bird, okay? And it uh, would not be hard for me to see the joy of someone wearing this kind of, and like, the fives are embarrassing and it ends in this thing. Hey, Gret. So, hopefully we're safe when we do an image search on this. Um, okay, so this brings up the, the bird. Um, I kid you not. It's literally shaped like a five. Like, look at that neck. It's literally shaped like a five. Right? 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 <laughs> it's the walking five bird. That that that. Even when he's turned that way, you can see the five backwards. I'm like, these are literally the walking fives of the world. These giant white walking fives everywhere. So there, there's a portrait of a woman wearing an aigrette. Yeah, I'd say back in the day that was a joy to behold. You saw a nice woman at the ball wearing that in her hair. You would, you would feel the joy. She would feel the joy. People would feel the joy. You'd be like, yep, I feel the effort. And the word effort is pure fives. Um, but I can't get over the fact that this guy is literally the flying five. Literally. Even when he flies, he looks like a five. Uh, now, he's going the wrong way. And it's here. Rent, rent, rent. <laughs> the egret, no matter which way you stretch him, he's the flying five. He's this giant white five walking around. Like, like the number five is literally walking everywhere by the millions in this white creature, there's a great shot. There, good pose right there. <laughs> Mr. Five walking everywhere by the millions. There he is again. Okay, so Mr. Five, whose name, Egret, is pure fives, is staring us in the face. Furthermore, there's a synonym, there's, a, there's another word for a fashion, which we, ooh, look at how beautiful they are. Man, with those wings, that is like the whitest white plumage you've ever seen. Have you ever seen a bird that is that white from top to tip? That's joy. Remember, white equals 65. Okay, white is a color of joy, absolutely. Look at that thing. It's literally a white five flying through the universe. Man, that is a joy. I mean, I'm just getting happy looking at these photos, aren't you? Look at that thing. Now he's got the double fives coming out at you. Wacha! Um, <laughs> but seriously. It's an egret. Um, oh, the word heron just came to my mind. And blue heron also divides by five. And the blue heron, look at, look at, it's the number five. It, 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 he's literally a walking five. The neck is shaped like a five. Even his legs are shaped like a five. This is the most five-like creature in the universe. This is funny. Like, this is actually amazing that this is the way that it is. So the word heron just came to mind. We, so I, I, I would also check the word peacock. And, um, so, and then in fashion land, uh, ladies... Um, now, this is a different type of... Anyways, there's, apparently there's a great headpiece. Here, here we go. So now a lady will be wearing there. This, wow. <whistles> go with your first impression. What is your first impression when you see this kind of fashion? Definitely wow.
definitely impressive, definitely classy, and in my opinion, definitely a joy to behold. You, you see women like that dressed up at the ball, you will be like, oh yeah, this is nice, this is nice. This is a five-star occasion, everyone's happy, oh yeah, we're feeling the love, we're feeling the effort, this is beauty, oh yeah, this, this is care, attention, look at that. There it is, there, there's a perfect photo, a little girl. That is what you call an aigrette, pure fives, pure joy. Okay, we're gonna, this, this is fantastic. You have to study history and you have to, you have to go to the past when people dressed up classy when they went out and when they went to balls. Like, women wore this stuff and people marveled and they gave them all the respect in the world. So, I'm here for the math, the joy on this kind of fashion. There it is, there's the actual feather. White as snow, light as a feather. This is so exciting. This is such a fun gem because the bird is actually shaped like the number five. Okay, this is cool. So the egret, now, a couple words came to our mind by the, by the Lord here. Heron, no less. Now, you can put the word right in, white in front, a white egret. Now you get the great blue heron, which is also shaped like a five when it walks. The word heron is screaming out fives. It's got the H and the O and then a miracle of miracles, the HRN knits together to make 40, so Heron equals 60, five points higher than an egret. And as far as I recount, a Heron is larger than an egret. So Heron is 60 points composed of pure fives. Of course, the one I'm most familiar with here in Langley, British Columbia, is the Blue Heron. We see them all the time. Um, they're very large, larger than these dudes, okay? But they're shaped like the number five. Literally, their necks and their bodies are clinically shaped like the number five. <laughs> I call them the walking flying fives now. Uh, five is the number of joy, okay? And then blue divides by five, just like the word white, okay? So a blue heron is so perfect because blue equals 40, okay? Heron equals 60, so lo and behold, blue heron equals 100 perfectly equals lightning, okay? The, we know the joy of God and lightning. Well, now here's the joy of God and blue heron. Stunning. Isn't that touching? So blue heron, and there was a couple other words that came to us that we wanted to check. I wanted to check the word plumage. Now I know the word dress. Um, the word dress divides by five. In fact, the word dress equals white. Okay, so a white headdress. Okay, the ending of that is pure fives. Uh, plumage divides by five. God be praised. We're getting smoking hot verbiage. So what is it about this guy that is so attractive? The white plumage okay plumage you have to use that special word the plumage on mr five you just call this dude here your name my friend forever is mr five you are the walking five take a look at him he's literally the walking swimming flying five he looks like a five his name bears the number five and five is the number of joy done <laughs> <laughs> there are literally walking fives down here, walking numbers for God's glory and accuracy. Okay. <laughs> I, I need a walking five in my life. I need to own one of these as a pet and just, walk, and just watch that five walk around all day. Okay, so <laughs> this is awesome. This is fun. You're, women are going to get back into this egret fashion. They're going to be like, I need an egret feather. I, I just need one in a white hat and I'm going to go to church with it and I'm going to wear it on the town and I'm going to get compliments from all the gentlemen and they're not even going to know why they're so impressed. They're not even going to know why they're so impressed by me with my egret feather in my white hat. Okay, so, so the plumage. Oh, this is good. This is, this is a fun one. We've hit a real kisser here. Um, the word feathers, of course, is loaded with fives um, and you can... Okay, now the word feathers is such a huge word, okay, so just because it doesn't divide by five, it knits together with all sorts of things, but plumage, okay, let's just, it ends in five. Let's um, see what other fives live, there's always lots you can do. Um, what do you want to do? You could put the MG together. I'd love to shoot for more teams than less. You could spell the word map. Ooh, that's cool. If you spell the word map, that's 30, and then LUG is 40. I would love to get five teams of fives in this, but I don't know if it's actually possible. Let's let's try the LM root, which is 25. Now we've got two teams of fives. Ah, now we're kind of stuck though. Now we're back to it. So I think you can get four teams, for something like that. No problem. Um, fine. Play with it all you want. Plumage divides by five, so white plumage is going to divide by five and all the rest of it.
There, that was there. That was smoking hot. See how we went deep there? We dug in. We dug in like any scientist based on initial evidence, okay? We, our theory was that, okay, all these famous words end in joy, composed of pure letters that divide by five. We dug in, we got the word egret, we looked at this guy, recognized that his shape is the number five as he walks down the street, solved words related to him like heron, blue heron, plumage, and uh, we saw the screaming fives coming at us and um, it did not disappoint. All right. <laughs> and we solved a fantastic piece of uh, old school fashion. And this is loaded fives. This is 10, this is 25, this is 5, 20, 25. Okay, so w what is an egret? Well, back it back up to Google. We've solved Google before. And a, an egret is a headdress consisting of a white egret feather. Isn't that beautiful? Or other decorations such as a spray of gems, but clearly it has to have the white egret's feather. That's where the name came from. And you look for yourself. The origin of the word is from egret. Isn't this beautiful God's sovereignty over words? This, go, this gem goes back to the mid-18th century. And women, look at, see, look at how sad we are today. Look at this nonsense. Look at the use of this word. This is sad. Because people don't study words, because they don't study history, they're missing out on all the fun, all the fashion, all the beauty that people did, all the glory of God. Well, we're here to correct the scene, okay? So, um, once again, an egret hat. Now, these are pretty extreme, but you get the idea, okay? Definite, um, anyways, I think the headdress image search produced better results, but you get the idea, okay? We solved the animal, and that was, in my opinion, the coolest part of this whole discovery was the fact that this thing looks like a walking five. Shape for shape, it's a walking five, wading through the water, <laughs> as is the heron. So, if I search for heron, you will also see, of course, that the heron is a walking five. There's the five. Dent, dent, dent. He's literally a walking five. Even, even when he stands up, he's still a walking five. <laughs> no matter what direction he turns, he's still a walking five. <laughs> he just kind of flipped around, elongated. There, there's the real five, just like, hey, I'm Mr. Five, man. I'm a five-star heron. Look at me. I'm Mr. Five, man. I'm shaped like a five. I got five colors on me. My name screams out fives to the joy of God. I... Call me Mr. Five. I, sh I, I know what a five looks like, and I can walk the five in front of the ladies all the time. There he is, the five. The five is flying. There he is. He's shaped like a five, and do not deny it. There's a real five. Dent, dent, eh. <laughs> And then even the legs are kind of shaped like a five. All right, so there's the heron. And so confirmation, okay, now... These colors also divide by five. Gray divides by five, blue divides by five, white divides by five, and orange divides by five. So every component of Mr. Heron, including his shape, is screening out fives. Five is the number of joy, and that's the number I've been receiving from the Lord, so that's why we're going so hot on this. So Heron was five points higher than an egret. Both of them are shaped like fives, and it's just been a stunning mind blow once again for the glory of God. Number five is the number of joy, because every letter in joy divides by five. All right, and everything exists for the joy of God, including this fine creature. All right, more to come.